yeah, if we pigeonhole our, um, our attention, if we pigeonhole it, we, we have every possibility of either, either um, being so narrow that we can't even see the gorilla, or being so broad, so broad, that we don't know what we're supposed to look at. Are we supposed to look at the mountains? Are we supposed to look at the sea? Are we supposed to look at the trees? So there's the challenge for us. Is it a very broad focus or a, a narrow focus? And there's a game I play with kids, which we can just play now. So if you put your hands out in front of yourself like that, um, and then if you just bring your, your sort of part, your fingers in, and then point your fingers together, and really, really, really focus on them, so you can't see anything else, just focus really, really hard. What, what can you see? What can you see? Only my fingers. Only your fingers, yeah. So I, I, with kids, it's quite good doing this. So you can only see your fingers, and, uh, and they go, no, I can see them. Yeah, well, focus on, you're supposed to really focus on that. And then if you get them to do that, so the next stage, if you just do that for a moment, yeah, um, so it's like that shape, then what can you see? You can see a lot. And so it's quite a nice way of getting people to think broad and narrow in their, their thinking. Oh, okay.